Hello, uh, dear students. Uh, uh, welcome back to the discussion on refrigeration and air conditioning module three. Now that we started discussing our uh, multiple stages of refrigeration or multi-stage VCRs, two terms are very much essential. Before we uh, two terms we need to discuss before we move on to the uh, actual multi-stage uh, vapor compression refrigeration system. One important term is flash gas removal and using flash tank okay so what is this uh, flash gas and uh, why it is need to be removed and what is this flash tank etc etc that is before entering the evaporator the refrigerant undergoes expansion in the expansion well that we all know uh, uh, we have already learned that uh, case in our uh, standard vcrs this expansion valve is nothing but the throttle valve this during this uh, uh, throttling process or throttling expansion well this expansion is very sudden it happens all of a sudden and there are chances of formation of vapor refrigerant the refrigerant uh, which is entering the throttling well which it will be normally in liquid state but due to this sudden expansion there are chances of a uh, vapor refrigerant getting formed it it may so it is uh, uh, this mixture of vapor uh, refrigerant and the liquid refrigerant uh, uh, which is going to enter the uh, uh, which is going to enter the evaporator such vapor getting formed it is called as flash gas that is just like a flash uh, flash vapor getting formed the, this flash gas is nothing but this uh, uh, due the uh, formation of vapor Uh, form due to, uh, vapor getting formed due to the sudden expansion inside the throttling valve the formation of this flash gas reduces the refrigerant def- refrigeration effect uh, sorry this term is refrigeration effect uh, refrigeration effect uh, so uh, uh, why it reduces this uh, why it, why it reduces the refrigeration effect mainly because so you can see uh, if uh, this uh, uh, mixture of uh, If, if 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 this mixture of vapor and liquid refrigerant is admitted to the evaporator suppose okay so at the evaporator both liquid refrigerant and uh, vapor refrigerant is entering so the liquid refrigerant it will be able to take up the sensible heat load and the latent heat load also from the evaporator okay because it is in liquid state it can very well transform to vapor state but uh, if the refrigerant is entering the evaporator in vapor state itself then it can no longer transform into another vapor form uh, it can remain only in the vapor form itself so that means it can take up only sensible heat load from the evaporator so that is why it is written here uh, this formation of flash gas reduces the refrigeration effect okay so this is it is very much essential or necessary to remove the uh, flash gas so now here now uh, that is what we are discussing like this flash gas removal using a flash tank so now let us uh, discuss this method okay so uh, we are uh, so uh, we are considering a point a uh, exit of the condenser from the exit of the condenser from point a the refrigerant is moving on towards this expansion valve so between uh, between the exit of the uh, condenser and the uh, inlet of the expansion valve we are fitting a small pressure vessel okay flash 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 tank is nothing but a small pressure vessel in which the refrigerant liquid and vapor form are separated at an intermediate pressure okay so how this flash tank is established so by means of a float valve a float valve is established uh, inside this pressure vessel okay so this float this float valve will always ensure that a particular level uh, of uh, refrigerant liquid refrigerant will be always maintained Uh, inside this flash tank okay so the liquid refrigerant from this con- uh, coming from the exit of the condenser uh, it will be uh, it will be suddenly admitted inside a flash tank or flash tank is nothing but a small pressure vessel at an intermediate pressure okay so once the uh, uh, liquid refrigerant ends- enters this flash tank uh, some it, it may undergo it may undergo a intermediate expansion so due to that intermediate expansion some uh, liquid refrigerant may transform into vapor form that will be getting collected in the top of in the top portion of this uh, flash tank okay and whatever liquid is remaining that will be settling down 
at the bottom portion of this flash tank that is uh, denoted by this line okay so this float valve what is the purpose of this float valve this float valve always ensures uh, ensure that a minimum a certain amount of uh, uh, liquid refrigerant is always maintained inside this flash tank and whatever uh, gas or uh, vapor form of this refrigerant is forming that will be getting collected over the top of this uh, uh, top portion of this flash tank which we can remove using a vacuum pump or anything and we can admit it back to the compressor actually we discussed in the uh, beginning that is uh, we need not admit the vapor form of the refrigerant to the evaporator because it reduces the refrigeration rate so this flash tank is a um, uh, uh, is an arrangement uh, to somehow manage uh, to remove the vapor form of the refrigerant okay and admit only the liquid refrigerant back to the evaporator okay so uh, uh, this uh, refrigerant will be undergoing a intermediate expansion uh, at this flash tank so whatever liquid is remaining only that liquid is admitted towards the expansion valve okay and uh, to the evaporator okay so at uh, point b uh, it is the intermediate uh, uh, pressure uh maintained at this uh, uh, or intermediate point where this uh, flash tank will be maintained at a intermediate pressure uh causing the flash uh, causing the uh, refrigerant to uh, form into uh, liquid and vapor form this vapor form of this refrigerant will be uh, uh, extracted and it will be admitted to the compressor instead of directly moving to a, towards the evaporator the this, this liquid the remaining liquid the remaining uh, sorry this remaining liquid or it the remaining saturated liquid uh, refrigerant which is uh, coming out from this flash tank it will be fed to the evaporator after the throttling process it, it is at point c at point c only the saturated liquid uh, refrigerant remaining at the bottom of the flash tank will be admitted towards the expansion valve there it will be undergoing a throttling process and it will be further admitted to the evaporator okay so uh, uh, this this flash tank arrangement is a simple mechanism uh, uh, through which we are trying to ensure that only liquid refrigerant or, or only pure uh, liquid refrigerant is entering the evaporator thereby increasing the refrigeration effect how we can represent uh, this entire uh, process in a in our pressure enthalpy diagram so it will be like this we are uh, initially representing the vapor dome point a okay point a is representing the exit of the condenser the exit of the uh, from the exit of the condenser the uh, uh, liquid refrigerant is coming to an intermediate pressure b where the flash tank will be set up so at this flash tank the flash gas or the vapor form of the refrigerant will be removed and fed to the compressor at point e so the remaining saturated liquid at b it will be the so what is remaining at b the saturated liquid the saturated liquid means it can be represented on the left side of the vapor dome so that is why we are representing the point c on the vapor dome so uh, uh, the line from b to c is representing the saturated liquid separated from the flash vapor then uh, the dotted line from b to e is representing the flash gas getting removed and fed to the compressor so whatever saturated liquid is remaining at the flash at the bottom of the flash tank at the c it will be admitted towards the uh, evaporator at d and uh, after passing through the throttling valve c to d is the uh, throttling process or the expansion valve point d represents the entry point of the evaporator or the evaporator inlet okay so this is how we will be representing our uh, flash gas uh, removal using a flash tank so that is one important phenomenon in our multi stage uh, vapor compression refrigeration system another one is mm, when we are uh, dealing with multiple stages of uh, compression there is another phenomenon called uh, intercooling in multi stage compression process so when we consider a, a work input for a polytropic compression polytropic compression means it is we are dealing with a general compression process all practical compression process can be considered as a polytropic process 
W such work done uh, during this work done by the compressor will be can be represented by this integral. Integral a to b v dp the our uh, pressure volume work. Okay, uh, so uh, by integrating this we can come up, come up with a relation like this n by n minus one n is the uh, a polytropic index p a v a into one minus p b by p a into uh, sorry raised to n minus one by n where n is the polytropic index p a is the uh, in in uh, the pressure of the refrigerant uh, at the inlet of the compressor v a is the specific volume of the uh, refrigerant at the inlet of the compressor p b is the uh, 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 pressure of the refrigerant after this compression process p a is the pressure of the refrigerant at the starting of the compression okay so uh, we know uh, uh, we know the the main variable here is v a okay so for multi stage compression process we need to reduce the compressor work okay for uh, when we, we are dealing with a multi stage multiple stages of compression process but at the same time uh, 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 we are providing energy for running the compressor so we we need to reduce the compressor work as as far as possible okay so in order to reduce this compressor work we need to reduce the variable component va so uh, by using this pv is equal to rt relation okay what does that mean in order to reduce the volume what we are what we have to do pressure we cannot always alter because here uh, anyway we have to increase the pressure so pb and pa is not at all a variable component it will be uh, almost a fixed uh, component we need we cannot change always this okay so uh, now the uh, we are left with only the option to change the volume uh, specific volume of the refrigerant that uh, inlet of the compressor so uh, by you know how we can reduce the volume specific volume we can reduce the temperature so we need to reduce the temperature which means we require intercooling which means we require intercooling so what is the meaning of this intercooling after the first stage of compression so so uh, uh, here in this pressure enthalpy di diagram you look at this line 1 to 2 1 to 2 represents a first uh, level of compression carried out by a first compressor okay so we are not uh, 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 continuing this compression work up to 2 dash okay so if if it was a, a single stage work vapor compression system where only a uh, single compressor was, was only where only a single compressor was working the compressor work would have stopped only at 2 dash but we know what we discussed uh, this this consumes a, a very large amount of compressor work so we are stopping in between we are stopping the first compressor at 2 okay so whatever refrigerant is coming out from the point 2 or the exit of the first compressor it will be again cooled down okay point 2 represents a superheated vapor form from this superheated vapor form of the refrigerant it will be cooled back to the saturated vapor form of the refrigerant so 2 to 3 is representing a intercooling so after this intercooling intercooling means intermediate cooling intermediate cooling means cooling of the refrigerant bit the, at the intermediate stage between uh, the second compressor and the first compressor or between the exit of the first compressor and the starting of the second compressor so at the starting of the second compressor from uh, 3 to 4 3 to 4 is the second compressor working before the uh, uh, second compressor uh, starts the refrigerant at the inlet of the second compressor it will be getting cooled by 2 to 3 that intercooling can be done by any cooling medium so here we can see uh, without the intercooler what was the compressor work uh, h2 dash minus h1 okay with the intercooler what was the compressor work it will be h2 minus h1 plus h4 minus h3 okay so h2 minus h1 plus h4 minus h3 which will be very much lesser than the uh, uh, this value h2 dash minus h1 so by implementing this intercooling of the refrigerant between two successive stages of the compressor work we are able to reduce the total uh, energy consumption or uh, total work done by the compressor okay so which means we are we can reduce the total cost of 
running the refrigerator system okay so with this we can continue later